They praised in unison your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute and gave eloquence to the tongues of the infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we call to mind our sins, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? Why do you look so intently at us? As if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when you had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The offer of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant God made with your ancestors. When he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over all the works of your hands, put in all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. 
all sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they made how they come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to him, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name. To all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On Good Friday, they thought they were winners. On Easter Sunday, they thought they were losers. And now they have the chance to be winners once again. Referring to the people that had Jesus put to death. It's amazing that no matter how human beings try, no matter how human beings try to defeat God, that God always comes out on top. See, they thought they were winners on Good Friday. They, they thought they put this blasphemer, Jesus, who who claimed to be God to death. And how they were defeated on Easter Sunday when he is who he said he was, that is Jesus, that truly was the Son of God, raised from the dead. And how their plan became defeated. But the irony in all of it is, is that in their hatred, in their ignorance, as Peter tells us in our first reading, that in their ignorance, Again, they, they thought they were doing the right thing. They thought they were winning. And even that becomes a part of God's plan of salvation history. That little that they know that as they were putting him to death, they were fulfilling sacred scripture. As Jesus says that at the end of the gospel, that the Son of Man must suffer and die and be, rose, be raised from the dead. That those who put Jesus to death thought that they were winning, and little did they know they were actually accomplishing God's plan. And now Peter tells them that they have a chance for repentance, for the forgiveness of their sins. They have a chance to come out on top once again through the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. And so it tells us a very important lesson in our lives. That no matter how much we fail, God's always going to win. That you and I are not strong enough, not smart enough, to commit sin and to mess up God's plan of salvation history. You're just not that strong enough. You're not smart enough. So even in our weaknesses and even our failings, God's plan for us is still going to come to fruition. No matter what we do, 
God, in his mysterious ways, will always find a way for our salvation. Now, sure, we still have to cooperate with it. And surely I'm not given permission just to do whatever you want. But the point is, is to always have hope. Always have hope in God's divine providence. No matter how much we struggle and sin and our fear and our weaknesses, God's salvation is always going to win. So sometimes we just need to just set aside our pride, set aside our ego, realize that all is not lost, to repent of our sins, and to go back to God's divine mercy, which we're going to hear a lot about this weekend. May God bless you. We now present our prayers and our petitions to our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church that it may continue its mission of evangelization, proclaiming the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, especially for all the emergency personnel, for our military, for policemen, firemen, and everybody else that lay down their lives to protect our freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and for many happy, faithful, and fruitful marriages. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those who are sick, especially those in our homes and in our parish. We pray for those suffering, either physically or emotionally or mentally, from this coronavirus. And for the doctors, nurses, and all medical personnel that assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the souls of the faithful departed, especially for those listed at the Mass, uh, in our slide at the beginning of Mass, may they enter into the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may you answer these prayers and petitions of ours in accordance with your will, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in the hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover hath been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, in, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, in, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, you blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace us, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. chosen people proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and assure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.